Burr. It's getting chilly in our neck of the woods. <laughs> in this video, we're going to talk about draining down a backflow preventer, okay? This one is a pressure vacuum breaker. So there's many different models of this, many different makes. All of them will have these same components here, though. This is one of the first things that we receive damage when we get a cold spell through. So one way of doing that is turning off and draining out the water so that there's nothing left to freeze. So in our scenario here, we've already turned off the water supply. We've got another video on how to do that. So the water supply has already been turned off inside the house back behind freeze area, right? So the water is off to the sprinkler system. However, we do have water still left in all of these pipes, right? So what we're going to do is drain all of that water out. We're going to start at the very bottom of the assembly here. We're going to open this and drain any of that water that's left. The next thing that we're going to do is open up these test ports here. Quarter turn is what we're looking for on these. Halfway between open and closed, essentially. Your ball valves need to get turned halfway as well to a 45. Now at this point, any of that water that we've had has had a chance to drain out. There's one more piece though, right? There's this section of water still left in the pipe between this point and where we turned it off inside. So we'll need to drain that water as well. Let's look at that. All right, so here we are down in the crawl space. This is our pipe leading out to the sprinkler system. Here's our ball valve that we've already closed to turn off the water supply to the sprinklers. And then this would be the rest of the domestic supply to the house here feeding. So all the water's on to the house. We've isolated it at the sprinkler system. And what we're going to do now is just drain back this last bit of water that we have left over between the ball valve and the outside where we've drained it already. So we're just going to open that up and let that water drain out. Now our sprinkler system is totally safe. There's no water left to freeze.